This is Feature Shelf, a series that provides book recommendations based on theme or title suggestions. This week's Feature Shelf was requested by Christian. This is Feature Shelf number 47, the Death Reliability Edition. So can I just say, Christian, that I love the title of this shelf. Today we have five books about the reliability of death. Either people can't stay dead, or they're not really dead, or they're alive but only sort of, or dead but only sort of. Off we go. The first book on our shelf this week is More Than This by Patrick Ness. A boy dies, drowning, and wakes up in a place that is vaguely familiar, although he can't figure out why. It's deserted. No people, no cars, no animals, no insects. He wonders if there might be more to life than he previously thought. One Goodreads reviewer has said that it's better to go into this book not knowing anything, so I'll tell you that it deals with death and the afterlife, and there's a little science fiction thrown in. If you've read other books by Patrick Ness, like A Monster Calls or the Chaos Walking Trilogy, you might enjoy this one too. The second book on our show I don't have a physical copy of, uh, well, we'll stick one right there. Um, is Elsewhere by Gabrielle Zevin. Liz has found herself in Elsewhere, the place where people go when they die. Elsewhere is very similar to the world that we know, though it has some startling differences. For example, in Elsewhere, people age backward and so they become babies again and return to the real world. This is all well and good, but Liz doesn't want to age backward. She wants to age forward, so she spends her time longing for a life and a world that has moved on without her. One question I saw on Devin's website was, is a life lived in reverse so different from a life lived forward? The third book on our shelf this week is The Infects. Uh, fan of zombies? Fan of satire? The Infects might be the book for you. 17-year-old Nero is on an inward trek into nature with a bunch of other... delinquents. When the counselors start having a hankering for human flesh, the campers have to figure out how to save themselves. This book is full of pop culture references, which add to the humor. Not only that, but the ending is satisfying because the antagonist is one you won't see coming. Our next featured book is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I've also heard that it's best to not know too much going into this book, so here's what I will tell you. A well-to-do family has a set of houses on an island. There's a girl, her two cousins, and the boy she falls in love with. There's mystery, family drama, romance, and an accident, and there's also no way to see the ending coming. The last book on our shelf this week is... A World Without You by Beth Revis. Bo's girlfriend Sophia dies before the novel starts. They were classmates at a boarding school for adolescents who have special needs. Part of Bo's challenge is that he believes that he can travel through time. So in his mind, Sophia didn't die. He accidentally left her in the past and he's trying to go back in time and save her. I just did a sticky note review video for this one, so uh, click the book right there for more information if you're interested. So, no death, no problem. Those are five YA books you might enjoy if you're not too confident about the staying power of death in books. More Than This, Elsewhere, The Infects, We Were Liars, and The World Without You. I'm gonna get out of here, but before I do, show notes, archives, thebooksupply.com slash feature shelf, or just go to booksupply.com and click feature shelf. If you would like to request a feature shelf, hit me up on any of the places that you see on the end screen. There'll be some links in the description box to the books I talked about today and to places you can get a hold of me on the internet. And finally, if you've read any of the books I talked about today or have thoughts about them, leave me a comment in the comments or at any of those places in the description box and we'll continue the conversation. I look forward to it. I'm going to leave you there now, dear readers. Thank you for watching Feature Shelf number 47, the Death Reliability Edition. I am the supplier wishing you happy reading. Don't forget to be awesome. 
Welcome to the In Screen, where I tell you all about the places you can find me on the internet. My website is thebooksupplier.com, and you can find me at the Booksupplier and all of those places listed up in the corner, and I really hope I'm pointing in the right direction. Also, you can subscribe to the channel down here in this corner, and below you can leave comments. I like talking to people on the internet. Leave comments. Okay, I'm actually going to get out of here now.